Hey folks, uh, this lesson is our application one with uh, module 6.1, Modeling Quadratic Functions. So here we go. Don't forget all your lessons can be found uh, at that website. And then our question is how, do, how can real world situations be modeled by parabolas? We have a few examples here. So for each of these, you guys, uh, we're going to describe what the vertex is, the y-intercept, what it means, what the endpoints represent uh, in this situation, and then determine the equation uh, of the function right here, okay? So if you have your textbooks happy, uh, um, handy, it would be helpful. I'm going to have my students make sure they have it out right here. And so this graph is on page 216, and it models the depth in yards below the water surface a dolphin is before and after it rises to take a breath and descends again okay so over here is a dolphin over here swimming around and then um, uh, so this negative four would be uh, four seconds before it starts uh, uh, ascending or going up to take a breath right there and then it takes a breath and then you know as the time goes on this is time in seconds right here as the time goes on the dolphin goes back down underwater right there okay all right so uh so it um it's saying for each model describe what the vertex is the y-intercept and the endpoints okay so let's just slide that up so the y-intercept up there occurs at the vertex up there uh at the parabola of zero zero well the, where the dolphin is going to surface to take a breath right there okay and so this end point right here represents the depth of, of uh, 32 uh, yards because this says depth in yards right here I'm, t I'm twisting my head sideways right there depth in yards right there so it's um 32 feet uh, below the surface so this is the sea level right here and this negative 32 represents 32 feet below the surface and it's four seconds before the dolphin will reach the surface to take a breath okay that's why it's minus four right there and then this end point over here uh, it represents the depth of 32 yards below the surface at four seconds after the dolphin had reached the surface. So this is when um, uh, zero seconds when the dolphin reaches the surface right there at, at, uh, at sea level, right up there at sea level, so it would be zero. Okay, and this, this negative four would be four seconds before it starts going up, and this, neg this positive four would be four seconds after it takes a breath. Okay, and then it says uh, find the equation right there. So with vertex at zero, zero, in fact, I think all of these have vertex zero, zero. So we're going to have them in the form of y equals ax squared, except this is depths in yards with respect to time. Okay, time being our x movement right here. So we're going to have t instead of x right here. Instead of having uh, f of x, we're going to have d of t, which represents uh, the depth in res with respect to time right there. Okay, so this is like f of x equals ax squared, except this is d of t to say depth with respect to time equals a times t squared right there. Okay, and then all we got to do is substitute this point in. We can substitute this point in too. It doesn't matter. But substitute for uh, comma negative 32 in. Okay, this is uh, x, this is y, or this is uh, t and this is um, our d for depth right here. Okay, so we just plug in um, negative 32 equals a times 4 squared right there, and then 4 squared is uh, 16, so we divide 16 into negative 32, and we get a equals negative 2. Okay, so our equation then becomes d of t equals negative 2t squared. All right, let's try another one here. So this is uh, uh, part B on page 217, and it talks about satellite dishes. You know, satellite dishes, they make kind of a, a cone sort of, you know, like a, not a cone, a, a parabola sort of shape, um, a cup, I guess a bowl sort of, okay? So satellite dishes uh, reflect radio waves onto a collector by using a reflector, which is the dish, and it's shaped like a parabola. Okay, and the graph shows the height in feet, uh, the reflector, uh, relative to the distance x in feet from the center of the dish. Okay, so so um, so this is uh, 60 feet, or sorry, 12 feet high and 60 feet uh, away from the center of the dish. Here's the center of the dish right here. This point right here represents at 60 feet. Um, the satellite dish is 12 feet high right there. Okay, all right. So the y-intercept here occurs at the vertex, which represents the distance uh, x equals, well, 0 at that place from the uh, 
uh, zero feet from the center of the dish right there, okay? And then this other endpoint over here, uh, the left endpoint, whoops, I'm still dealing with this guy right here, is height equals uh, zero uh, feet at the center of the dish. Well, we already said that right there. And then this other endpoint over here represents the height h equals, this is the height right here. The height is my going up, so it's 12, okay, when the distance is uh, when the distance is 60 feet right here from the center of the dish, okay? All right, and then the function is going to be of the form, okay, well, it's going to be of the form f of x equals x squared, except we're going to have this as um, uh, h of, we can say h of x or h of x. Of, uh, h of f if we want for feet, but where I just said h of x, so the height with respect to x, where x is talking about feet from the center right here, okay? And then we can just substitute in that point, 60 comma 12, to determine our equation. So here we go. So 12 equals a times 60 squared. 6 squared is 36. So to put 36 with two zeros, that'll be 60 squared. And then when we divide by three or 3600, 12 times 3 is uh, 36, so 12 times 300 is 3,600 right there. So, um, that's a parent I've been helping. So, uh, a is um, uh, 1 over 300, so our function is going to be h of x equals 1 over 300 x squared. Okay, see how this 1 over 300, it makes this parabola really, really wide. Okay, let's try one more, you guys. Okay, so this is your turn number 11 on that on page 217. So this graph shows the height h. Okay, so here's our height over here, h in feet, when a rock is dropped down a well. And then over here is our time t. So as the time increases going this way, then the rock falls, 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 falls down right there. Okay, so it makes a parabola uh, shape right here. If you guys are taking any kind of physics class, this will look familiar to you. All right, so this y-intercept occurs at the left end point, which is also the vertex right here. And it represents uh, when the height is zero at which the rock, right before the rock gets dropped, okay? So before the rock is released right there. So this other endpoint over here represents the height when when uh, uh, 64 feet deep, so a negative 64, at which the rock hits the bottom of the well at, at two seconds at time t equals two seconds right there, okay? And then so using the point, uh, this point, 2, negative 64, we're going to plug it in. h of t equals a times t squared. They're all of f of x equals ax squared form because they're centered at 0, 0 there, and we substitute that in. Okay, this is 4 right here. 4 goes into 64, 16 times, so a equals negative 16. So then our function has equation d of t equals negative 16 uh, t squared right there. All right, if you guys are in our class, that's going to be your assignment. And you still have to answer what the endpoints mean and what the vertex means and all that groovy stuff. But these are the equations that you'll be getting on that. All right, take care. Hope it makes sense.